talk more about some of the other major issues in the government. I mean, sure, that's that's kind of a, a funny tongue-in-cheek sort of thing. I mean, you, you never think of the commander-in-chief having to deal with two individuals and having to, quote-unquote, come down to deal with these issues. Well, we've got major issues. What yeah. that, what's the oh, oh, most important? Trillion, uh, two yeah. trillion? I don't even know what it is anymore. Yeah. And, and even all that doesn't bother me as much as Kim Jong-il in North Korea or Aminijad or whatever in Iran and uh, Syria and uh, can we go on and look at Chavez down the middle. On and on well, and on and on. I mean, how, how, you know, it's like we've all decided. Are close to our nine minutes? Is that why you're doing that? Yeah, it's not having cut in half now. Okay. okay. Well, essentially, that's what we're getting at. It's, there's a bunch of buffoonery going on right now. And uh, what, I, what I'm seeing right now, I mean, if it keeps going, the path is going, it doesn't get stopped. You know? We got Internet Star quitting, and we got. Uh, who is this? The car Czar quitting. Some other Czar I heard quitting somewhere. Uh, we're starting to see a lot of cracks now, and you know there could be a movement here. You know, I've already started tweeting. Just resign. <laughs> Some people don't like it. I'm already calling for his resignation because you know, like a political shark, I've been at this for almost 20 years now. Okay. Okay. I've smelled blood in the water, and and capitalists right now got to start smelling the blood in the water, the proverbial blood in the water, I should say. And I move from being a capitalist pig to being a capitalist rhino. <laughs> 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 Well, we don't want to go to that route. The whole rhino thing, remember, because the rhino now is John McCain, and uh, uh, who's the other, you know, the rhino's probably not, maybe okay, a, let's think of something, else. something a little more uh, aggressive and maybe like a Literally, capitalist uh, uh, type. Lion? Maybe, yeah. Lion? Lion. 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 Lion's probably a little better. I like it. Okay. They use the lion, you know why? They use the lion in those, what is those, those, those um, insurance ads? You ever see the lion? Oh. The tiger, I don't like, because China likes to use the tiger. Oh, right. Right. The kami, the red Chinese kami. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We're running out of animals to use here. Yes, yes. So the lion, let's stick with the capitalist lion. And that's what it is. The lion stands tall and looks great. There you go. All right. It runs the show. So I guess the... Well, I just want to say that with any questions you have now. I'll be honest, you have your own opinion. Uh, and, and you have a right to your own opinion. You don't have to be a capitalist. You don't have to be a Republican. You don't have to be a Democrat. You could be whatever. You How about a libertarian? Be a libertarian. Well, be about freedom. How about that? I, I, you know, I read a, read up about libertarians and their pro-choice about everything. Yeah, I like the idea, but some ideas I didn't agree with. So yeah, they're a little weird. Some of the stuff, but yeah. I don't mean like libertarian in the party sense. I meant more classic, like Ben Franklin style. Yeah, Ben Franklin style, uh -huh. where it doesn't get weird and stupid. With oh, I want everybody to start smoking and snorting. And, uh -huh. You know, that's all they seem to be posting. <laughs> right. Uh, well. Yeah. I've been surrounded by Democrats my whole life, so, like, my grandparents and my father, so I was kind of brought up the Democrat way, but I do like the idea of being a capitalist. You do? Yeah. Right. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like to hear. Because yeah. a capitalist could be with either party. Being a capitalist is not, you're not limited to a party, because there are people that made, that made money and make money in any country, <laughs> no matter what the political system was, there were always people that made money. I'm going to be one of those people, and am one of those people, that no matter who's in office, no matter who's running or what, I'm going to find a way to rise to the top and make money. However, I do prefer <laughs> political systems that enable that, that promote that, that, uh, that support that. I really do. I think it's the best when people, more of a meritocracy. Uh, meritocracy. Have you read Ayn Rand, any of Ayn Rand's? Uh, yes, books? I never have. I, you I, I sympathize with her from what I've heard of her, but I've never read a single one of her books. You need to read Atlas Shrugged, for sure. I've, I've already gone a third of the way through, but it is very compelling. You'll, you'll read it, and it'll be uncanny, the similarities of, what, of what's going on today and what she wrote in Atlas Shrugged. Uh, there's a reason that you know Mark Levin and Glenn Beck and all that want you to read that because there is a lot, and you should read it too. A lot I will. that will open your eyes to human nature. Is really what she's gone into is human nature. When when people start to collect, you get people who understand uh, that we live in a world that you have to. Live, there comes a point where you have to live with what uh, God has given us. Opportunity. There's so much, only so much in our lives we can control. Then there's this group of people that seem to think that control over others gives them 
control over everything. Yeah. No, it does not. Control of another human being is not control over life itself. All it is is a denial that you are not God. Yeah, right, 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 you know right, what I mean? right, 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 I know what you mean, you know exactly, and that is my, that, that's really what I've been trying to hear across with our, with my capitalist tweets, that, thank God, you know, you're at one hundred percent of it, you have an unlimited God who can help you and who can, who can back your play, so to speak, so why do I think I have to take it from you, when I can be successful myself, okay, we got cut. I've got the sound sale we gotta go. Garland Harris signing Garland E. Harris signing off, man. Rick Pedraza. Very nice to meet all of you. Have fun.